What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a muffled effect in Audacity. Now just before I get into this tutorial, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now for those that are new to Audacity, Audacity is a free software where you can record and edit your voice. To download it, a link to this will be in the description and simply select download Audacity 2.1.2. Now for those that do already have Audacity, make sure you're on this version as well. So I have Audacity opened here and I'm just going to drag on a song and this is it right here. Now you will notice when I do apply this effect that it's actually used quite a lot on YouTube montages and actually used in TV as well. So let's just play through the song I have right here. Now this is just all a build up to a drum and bass so let's just come up here. So that's the song we are going to be adding a muffle effect to. Now yes I am applying it to music, does it work on your voice as well? Of course it does. So just use the exact same steps I'm going to show you. So what I'm going to do is actually make it muffled on the build up and then when it comes to the drum and bass part I'm actually going to make it go back to normal. So I'm going to come to my magnifying tool which is this right here and I'm going to zoom in on the part where it drops which is right here and then I'm going to select this, the selection tool, left click and drag everything to the left. So it's all highlighted like that. Now of course if you want to do this to, to your entire voice then you can just simply left click here so it's all selected. Now from there you're going to come to effect and classic filters. Now you want to make sure the filter type is on Butterworth, the subtype is on low pass and now the cutoff for me I have it at 750. So from there just select OK and now I'm going to zoom out and you'll notice there's going to be a slight difference with As you can see there is a slight difference, it's more muffled, it's quieter. So that is how you do muffle audio in Audacity and I just undone it there so let's, we're going to actually play a bit of it in normal and then I'm going to muffle it here just by selecting it, come to the classic filters, low pass, Butterworth, 750, OK and it's going to go back to normal then I'm going to do the exact same thing again, effect classic filters okay and now as you'll see the parts that are a bit more squeezed in I guess you could say here and here and here they are the muffled parts so let's just play through this and now the muffle should come up yep, there we go that is the muffle right there and now there's the, the next muffle so you can see you don't have to apply it to just the beginning, you don't have to apply it to the entire song, you can apply it to certain parts you want to. Now I believe Fast and Furious 7, they did also use this effect. Anyway, that's it for this video, hopefully it has helped you, and you can use this to your advantage, for example, when you're using background music. Be sure to go follow me on Twitter where I'll keep you updated when I'm posting and what I'm posting. Also be sure to go ahead and check out my game channel where I post four times a week. And finally check out my Snapchat or just show what I do throughout my day. So yes, it's been Casual Savage here. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.